Now let's talk about a few ways to get a little bit more contrast out of your image. Now one of those ways, if we go over here to F7 and we turn this on, um, let's take it off of fade and let's do a sharpen. Now this isn't technically uh, contrast, although I don't know, it kind of adds a little contrast to your line work, but uh, that's just a way to go ahead and add a little bit more sharper detail to your image. Of course, if you over crank it, you'll start getting a little bit of artifacting there, but that might be a cool effect that you're going after. So now you can see we have a uh, sharpen here. Let's go ahead and turn on F8 here. And let's choose Orton. Now with this one, it's uh, set the screen by default. If you crank that up, you're gonna see it'll brighten your image, give you a little bit more contrast. And even on top of that, you can go down here to like say F9, change that filter, go down here to intensity. And this one's actually kind of the opposite of contrast. You're gonna see we can lower the contrast by going lighter, and you can also lower the contrast overall by going darker. Choose a filter of negative, and if you crank that value up, you can actually get like a negative of your render. You go down here to gamma. If you crank that up, it'll wash out your image a little bit more. However, if you go down, it will add a little bit more contrast to your image. Down here you have actual contrast, contrast user color, auto color, and auto gray. If you do auto gray, it's not going to give you a lot of options down here. You can see modifiers, back and front color are grayed out. However, you can choose how much of this auto gray you want. You can see even here it looks like kind of a printed comic look. If you go to auto color, there's not a whole lot of color in this image, but it'll give you probably, probably very similar uh, result to the auto gray. However, if you go over here to user color, what that's going to do is unlock this front color. So now if we crank this up to 100, uh, it's giving you kind of the same result as the auto gray. However, you can go in here to this front color and you can make it more white, which will increase the contrast. And then you can go down here and make it darker, which will decrease the contrast. See, this will give you a little bit more overall control with that contrast.